Kansas State lawmakers are considering another change to the state's decades old beer laws, allowing brewers to sell their own product without having to go through a distributor first. KMB tonight's Matt Evans getting answers in Overland Park on the reasons behind this change. At most Kansas breweries, you can walk right in and buy whatever beer they make, maybe out of a fridge, but getting this beer into other places like a liquor store or a restaurant is a whole different story. We've been open for about five months. We're a local community tap room. We're pushing the beer from the top out. And I'm regulating the flow with valves. Man, I'm an IPA guy, so I think all brewers are. Discourse Brewing is one of just three breweries in Overland Park. We're an untapped market. But to get their beers on tap elsewhere requires a contract with a distributor, which would take a large chunk of their profit. Once we do that, we are their property. Is there any limit um, on this as far as gallon age? A bill heard in the Kansas Senate committee today would allow microbreweries to self-distribute their own beer, up to 60,000 barrels a year, which is about 1.8 million gallons. Really, I mean, in all honesty, it would change the game. For a small brewery. This course in most microbreweries would never be able to produce that much beer, but distributors say larger corporations could take advantage of that. If you pass this bill the way that it is, you are allowing 96% of the nation's beer producers to come into Kansas and self-distribute. And just to be clear, that will put my my members out of business. There are negotiations happening in the state house now that would cap that amount. There's no agreement yet. It's kind of a now or never type of deal. But if brewers remain hopeful, something does get passed this session. In Overland Park, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. 40 states allow brewers to self-distribute their beer. That, that state Senate committee, I should say, did not vote on the bill today.